What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Don Squally back at you with another one. Um, what I'm going to show you guys how to do today is how to turn any home stereo. Uh, this is my beast. Any home stereo that has an auxiliary option or AV in option that allows you to play music off of your iPhone. Now basically what most people do is they will take their auxiliary cord plug it into their iPhone and play their music. Now that's good until you want to take your phone and you know send a text message or walk around your house with it then it becomes kind of a pain in the ass. So what I'm going to show you to do, how to do rather, is how to make a Bluetooth receiver that's going to plug into this instead of your phone. Um, so I'm going to advertise this for under 20 bucks because this is how much I paid for my iHome. Now any speaker will work, um, any Bluetooth speaker will work as long as it has an auxiliary output. Um, I took the case off, but yeah, auxiliary out. If your uh, Bluetooth speaker has that, uh, fucking focus, you piece of crap. Um, Anyways, if it has that, then it's this is going to work. Um, so basically, my idea was at first to just use this speaker, uh, connect my auxiliary into it, and then have the, uh, the speaker playing as well as having my stereo playing. Now, the only problem is that there's a lot of highs that come out of this speaker. Um, and, you know, this has its highs and its lows, but for some reason the speaker seemed to be playing a lot louder than the stereo. Uh, I tried to equal it out by turning down the phone to turn the speaker down and then turning up the stereo to kind of get a little bit more bass but it just wasn't really you know there's just too much highs in this for a, a nice home stereo to uh, to really sound good so what I'm gonna show you how to do is disable the speaker off of this so that basically this thing's job now is only going to be to receive the Bluetooth single signal and output it to my stereo. So uh, what I did is um, I took the plate off. By the way, this is the uh, what is it? IBT16. Um, you can see right there. That's what uh, model number this is. So what I did is I removed the bottom of the case. As you can see, the front, the back, where your charging and inputs did. Now, here's where the fun part comes in. I opened it up, and as you can see, there's a black wire running from this soldering point or soldering point up into a hole that goes here, right? Now, you'll see a red one running from this point to where I made the cut. Now basically you can cut both of these out. I just cut one out. Um, you're gonna just cut the speaker wire so that the sound doesn't go to the speaker anymore. Um, everything else inside here, all the components, the computer board, the charging mechanism, uh, the on off, everything's gonna function properly. The only thing is that the speaker is not gonna work and that's gonna allow, oh, text message. And that's gonna basically just allow this unit to just transmit the signal you know it'll receive the bluetooth and then output it to where we want it to go so basically i'm just going to show you guys a quick little test here how it works uh you're gonna so here's your auxiliary from your stereo plug it in we're going to turn it on to the bluetooth option which is right there and uh we're on you know um so, you know, you're going to want to sync your phone beforehand. Like, you, you'll be able to sync it afterwards. But before you're going to be able to play music, you're going to uh, want to sync it. And I guess I'll play one of my beats for you guys. So now, basically, what's going to happen is uh, it's going to play right from the phone. I'll be able to change volume. Um... And also, you'll be able to change the volume here and your bass and everything like that. Um, but as you can tell, it's just the stereo doing the work. You know what I mean? There's, there is, uh, there's nothing coming out of this speaker. No loud raspiness. Not that it's a loud raspy speaker, but it's just it it wasn't uh, complementing the rest of the stereo. So now, basically, I can, uh, you know take the phone, walk around the house, you know, and now we're all the way across the room, I can 
Go to the next beat. Oh, look at that, eh? Because it's a playlist. Next beat, next beat. It's probably going to play another commercial. No, it's not. Nice. So, yeah, there you go. I'm in my kitchen. I'm playing stuff Bluetooth, wirelessly. You know what I mean? And uh, that's where my little thing is over there. Let me zoom into it. My fake lizard. Pretty boss, eh? So, yeah, that's my Bluetooth wireless transmitter. Uh... To turn your stereo into a Bluetooth capable device, man. 20 bucks I paid eBay. You guys might be able to find a little speaker for cheaper. Might cost you a little more, but that's how I did it, man. Don Squally, signing off. Hope you guys find this useful, man.